Hello everyone. In this video, I will be talking about what is Center of Excellence Starter Kit, which in short form we say COE Starter Kit. This is a very important topic to understand because we generally get many uh, queries, many business queries from uh, different uh, uh, department of our organization. For example, uh, you must be asked that how to manage the different environments in Power Platform how to train the employees, how the apps are being built in the organization, are there, any, are there any specific standards or guidelines, how the apps to be built, what about the cyber security, what about the DLP policies, uh, how to handle the orphaned apps, how do we limit the exposure of our data, how innovation ideas can be handled and there could be many queries, right? So to answer all these queries, if you have to answer all these queries, then uh, you should know that who will be working on all these stuffs. So definitely you need a superman or a superwoman basically to answer these queries. So that's why Microsoft has introduced a very good kit which is called the COE kit or Center of Excellence Starter Kit. So what is a Center of Excellence Starter Kit? It consists of admin app, it consists of nurture app and many other governance app which allows you to protect your environment in many ways so that we will see in detail now so the center of excellence when i say it's a templatized uh, basically it's a templatized uh, implementation of the best practices which needs to be followed while working with power platform so it provides you different apps and different uh, solutions and different flows many things it provides depending on the data was table depending on the flows which runs in the backend which actually define the practices which actually are the components and tools which are designed to help you to start your journey with power platform now why starter kit because it is a highest standards are maintained in coa starter kit with the help of coa starter kit now there are several phases which are involved if you want to set up coa starter kit within your environment first you have to define your organizational goals and expectation then you install and configure the COE kit. So COE kit can be installed from the GitHub uh, URL. COE starter kit can be uh, installed from there. And then you have to establish the organizational policies, procedure and compliance. Install and utilize the nurture components. What are nurture components? We'll talk about this in detail. And then you have to iterate this process. You have to keep on upgrading your kit so that you can use the latest and the modern tools and templates which are available which helps you to work with Power Platform environments. Now to talk about uh, some prerequisites. So some prerequisites are there to use the COE starter kit. One is the service account. Definitely you need a Power Platform service admin or global tenant admin to install and to work with basically the COE starter kit uh, flows and the different solutions which it comes with or the different apps. Then you need a Power Apps license, M365 license, Power BI, desktop, uh, production environment, service account, all these are the prerequisites. Now, what are the COE building blocks on what uh, basically the COE is built upon? So basically there are administration, uh, administration assets, governance assets, nurture assets and innovation and backlog assets. So these four are the combination of the COE starter kit. So when you work with COE starter kit, you get all the apps and all the solutions and flows with respect to administration, governance, nurture and innovation and backlog. Now, when I say administration, so administration is basically used by the admin role to manage the DLP policies, to manage the permission. So basically a Power BI dashboard is provided to you, which gives you about the information about the uh, different apps and different flows which are created by the makers in your environment. Now, governance. Governance, basically it is, help, it, it is again helping the admin team to perform the audit of the apps which are differently developed by different makers. Now, Nurture, uh, it provides kind of a training to the new makers. It provides the technical support. Again, the makers and the admin role can use it. Now, this is the center of excellence starter kit core solutions. So, you get core solutions, you get governance components and you get basically the Nurture components. There are other some add-on solutions. So when you install the COA starter kit, there are other solutions which get installed along with the main solution or the core solutions, which is related to innovation and backlog, ALM, and again, the theming.
So as I talked about the components, the admin or the core components, governance components, audit components and the nurture component. The purpose of the core component is to provide enterprise-wide insights about your adoption. The governance purpose is to identify the orphaned apps, clean up, clean up the resources, audit log report about the usage and nurture training and the best practices can be defined using the nurture apps. Now this is the core component solution. So when you open the core component solution, you will see diff different types of uh, solutions or apps. On the left hand side, you can see there are cloud flows, there are chatbots, there are apps, dashboards, and at the same time, there are many data verse tables which are associated with COE starter kit. So if I show, if I want to show you, you can see here there are different apps. When I installed, I have already installed the COE starter kit in my environment. So you can see uh, maker environment request, admin environment request some types of canvas apps and some are model driven apps which are installed in my environment. At the same time, this is the solution which I already installed center of excellence core components. You can see it consists of different apps. It consists of different flows, dashboards, and most importantly, it consists of different tables which comes with the center of excellence core components. All right. Okay, so back to the PPT again. And now talking about the core assets. So as I talked about, there are different data data words tables, which comes with the core assets and there are some helper tables. Some of them are related to environment, related to makers, related to the flows. And these are different flows, which comes with the core assets. These are the different apps I was talking about. Some are the model driven apps and some are the canvas app and some are dashboard. So Power BI report is a dashboard, whereas the DLP editor, set app permissions, set flow permissions, all these are the canvas app. Now, this is the Power BI dashboard I was talking about with respect to governance, where you can monitor the different apps, you can govern the apps, and you can also work with the nurture components. This is the new view of this uh, Power BI, which has recently introduced by Microsoft. Now, similarly, uh, as there were assets, tables and flows in admin component. So in the admin assets, there are similarly tables and flows in the governance assets as well. Similarly, with respect to governance assets, we have different apps. For example, compliance status, cleanup, old objects app. All these are canvas app and developer compliance center is a model driven app. Now coming to the nurture assets. So nurture assets is mainly related to the maker assessment related to the video hub and training where you can use uh, in a day attendees in a day event all these kinds of training can be used in the nurture assets or nurture components for training there are some apps which are available like training in a day or some flows are available for example training in a day training in a day registration confirmed automated some kind of automated some kind of scheduled flows are there these are the different apps, for example, nurture apps, which is a maker app, video hub. These are the different apps which comes with the nurture components. If for similarly for innovation and backlog, which is the last part of the COE kit. So first we talked about the admin part. Second, we talked about the governance. Third, we talked about uh, third, we talked about the training part, the nurturing part, and the fourth, we have talked about the innovation and backlog. So this section is similar to the functionality of the Power Apps ideas. It allows the user to post their ideas with the description, pain points in the current process. At the same time, there is something called theming component. So while creating the apps, every organization will look for specific design guidelines, branding and best practices. So this particular component, theming component, theming gallery component, it allows you to create, manage and share the themes. So basically it comes with some apps and assets. For example, theme table, theme gallery app, theme editor app. So that's all for this video. I hope you have uh, got a very good understanding of the COE starter kit that when you install the COE starter kit in your environment. So what will happen? Different solutions, for example, core component solution, governance component solution. All these will be installed within your environment. At the same time, different apps will be installed in your environment and you should have the highest privileges permission to install and to play around with those apps. So that's all in this video. Thank you for watching.